So when I was doing the planning for this video, I thought I'd look up how much a new lens cap would cost. That way I could tell you guys how much you would be saving if you were to fix it yourself. However, it only ended up being something silly like $10. But nonetheless, I thought it would still be important to show you guys this video for those of you out there who wanted to know a quick fix for your lens cap. So let's get started. Hey guys, Lizzie here and welcome back to my channel. Today I thought I'd show you guys how to fix a broken lens cap. So this is off a Nikon 55mm lens. As you can see on the underside of the lens cap here, I've actually broken the bits of plastic here and here. So when you try and clamp it back onto the end of your lens, it doesn't work and it just keeps falling off. So I actually broke only one side probably a couple of years ago and the lens cap still worked fine in that it was able to attach to the end of my lens. However, recently I broke the other side and now it just doesn't stay on the end of my lens at all. And I'm finding that I've been walking around with a camera without a lens cap on it and I'm worried that I'm going to smash the end of my lens. So I thought I'd do this video today to try and fix it and to show you guys how easy it is to fix. So the aim with fixing this is to take apart the components of the lens cap to then super glue these broken bits back together and trying to reassemble it as one piece without re-breaking it and hopefully getting a few more years out of it before I have to spend that whole $10 to get a new one. What you want to do is you can see here the button, you want to push it in and then with your thumbs you just want to manipulate the plastic over it. So you've got to be really careful you don't break it even more than what you already have. And then here that click and then you just push the other side you just with your thumb manipulate the plastic over the top just like that. It does take a little bit of force but do be careful when you're doing it. So now the next part is you want to slide it out because there's little prongs inside the grooves here so you just want to gently slide it out and then up. So that's the first side out. So I'll show you guys again on the second side. So you want to push the button in, use your thumb to push the plastic over it and then do the same for the other side push the plastic over it. oh I just pop that side back in sorry push it over oh this one needs a bit more force push it over just like that and then you want to remove the little prongs from the grooves here so you just pull it slightly just so the prongs come out so yeah, there were the prongs that I was talking about. You're probably seeing if I move my thumb. Yeah, see how it's got those little prongs there? Probably see it better behind my hand. There we go. So now that that's out. So now we can set this aside. And now let's try and glue it back together. I don't know how long it's going to last because obviously it is a flexi part that's always going to have pressure put against it. So I'm worried that once we super glue it and let it set, it's going to just break again anyway because it's, it's it's moving part so it's just going to snap again but I thought I'd give it a try anyway so let's see how we go so today I am using the Sellys quick glues so this is just a little one mil tube I'm just using it because it came with like a pack of six and I'm constantly ruining my super glue because it always ends up in my drawer and by the time I go to use it it's all dried out and gross so I thought I'd just use this that way I can use it and chuck it when I'm done with it so it's a self-piercing one, so you've just got to put the cap on it yourself and pierce it. So, oh, here we go. Let's put a tissue down underneath. Probably help you guys see a bit better, but just in case I get glue on the mat as well. I don't want that. All right, so let's start with the first side. Just add a bit of glue here. Oh, that's too much glue. And add a bit of glue here. Okay, the glue's going everywhere. I've got horrible luck when it comes to super glue. I'm always super gluing my fingers together. Don't ask me how or why, but it just always happens. So let's see if we can get through this without gluing fingers together. That would be nice. What I'm going to do is I think I'm just going to try and sit it down. I mean, I guess it doesn't really matter if it sticks to the tissue. I just don't want the tissue sticking to the mat. So I might actually just hold it. A few moments later. Okay, so one side's sticking really well, but the other side's not. <gasps> it's sticking to the mat. All right, let's get a better grip on this. Maybe I put too much glue on. I'm thinking I put too much glue on. Oh my god, this is so finicky. Oh, 
Okay, I think I got it. So we're just going to hold it here for about a minute, or at least until the glue sets enough that when I let it go, it doesn't fall into my hands and break apart again. How's that? Woo! Hey, now let's just make sure it's on straight. Well, it looks like it's doing all right. Yeah, so I've just pretty much glued those two prongs on together. And oh, is that super glue on my finger? Nope. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Actually, while that super glue is drying, there was a couple other things I wanted to glue together as well. So <laughs> I might quickly go get those and glue them. I'll be back. So I actually chipped this plate because I'm such an aggressive washer upper. So I saved the chip to hopefully glue it back together. So it looks like part of the set again and not like an old dingy non looked after plate. So while I've got the super glue and while that's drying, I thought I'd just glue it back together. Don't mind me. Mm. This part, this is how you super glue your fingers together. Woohoo! Alright, is there anything else I wanted to super glue? <laughs> that doesn't look too bad. That was nice and easy. Alright, set that aside to dry. Well, that's the thing with these things. They don't come with the lid, so when you're done with it, you gotta chuck it out. So, hence why I'm making the most of it now. Alright, do I need to add more glue to that just for extra stability? It's got a lot, it got a lot of like leakage on the other side, which I guess is good because it's like spread it around to hopefully increase the surface area in which it sticks to it. But, um, no, yeah, I think that might be fine. I mean, I could always add it later. Yeah, alright, I'll stop touching it, I'll let that dry. So while we're waiting for this to dry, I want to ask you guys an honest question. What do you think of my YouTube channel so far? What do you like? What don't you like? And what content do you want to see more of? Pop it in the comments below. I'll be sure to reply. I know I may have a small audience base right now, but still your feedback means the world to me. So thank you so much. All right. So now that we've given it about 10 to 15 minutes to dry, we're now going to try and pop the components back together and see if it doesn't break again because I'm a little bit worried that because now that it's all one component when we go to pop it back in because it requires a bit of squeezing I'm worried I'm going to break it again so fingers crossed and let's get to it all right so just checking back in silly me forgot to film the close-up part um, of what just happened before but essentially I just tried to assemble it back together while the glue maybe hadn't completely set I probably could have left it for a little bit longer to dry but I thought I'd try and put it together anyway just to see how it worked and unfortunately it did break again. Shock horror. Um, so I've just gone and super glued it again but I have since realised that I've now completely broken the other side of it. So as you could see before I had broken this little part over here. Well when I tried to assemble it I've now broken this part over here. So this might not last long at all even if I do somehow managed to assemble it without breaking it. So I'm just going to let it dry for a little bit longer and then we're going to try and assemble it and see how we go. Yeah. Fingers crossed for round two. Later. This time I let the glue dry for about 30 minutes so I'm honestly not holding high hopes for this but let's just give it a go and see what happens. All right so like I said the first time you kind of want to stretch it and see if you can get it in. I'm going to try and support it with my finger. Alright, so I managed to get one in. Oh god, this is... no. Nah. <sighs> Alright guys, that didn't work. As you can see now, the whole thing is just splitting and breaking. So, you know what? I think it's time to call it quit. This officially didn't work. So as you can see, it's not working. Um, you've, you've got to try and gently stretch it over the top, but the glue is just not holding. And because I've now broken both sides on, on this section here, it's just going to keep splitting and it's just not going to work. So I guess I can now rename this video of how not to fix a lens cap. <laughs> so it's safe to say that it can officially go in the bin. And I will be paying the $10 to go get a new one. So I'm still glad that I made this video anyway. I'm glad that I'm sharing it with you guys because now you guys know to not even bother wasting your time trying to fix it. You can just chuck it in the bin and buy yourself a new one for $10. So you have my permission to spend that $10. <laughs> Don't try and be a stinge like me and try and fix it because it's just not going to work. Um, sorry this video was a bit of a fail today, but hey, at least we now learned something from it. Thanks for tuning in today, guys. I'll see you guys next Wednesday. Thanks for watching. Bye.
Today I thought I'd show you guys how to fix a broken, broken, 